Today I'm going to show you how to build a merchant item catalog or menu using Swipe Simple Register's bulk import and export functionality. This feature enables merchants to easily add multiple items, taxes, modifier groups, and item modifiers at once to their item catalog. To get started on building your item catalog or menu, first you have to log into your Swipe Simple account. Then you will need to download the Excel bulk upload template by clicking on item catalog, then on import items, and then clicking on download the template. As a note, this is the sample template. Make sure to delete everything below the header to get started. Now that you have your item catalog template, review the instructions in this tab before filling this out. We also have additional resources linked below from our support center that you can refer to if you need more information on how to get started with your item catalog. A few things to remember before we get started. First, if you're adding new items, the ID column on the left-hand side should remain empty as Swipe Simple will generate a unique ID number for this item when this file is imported into your item catalog. Second, in each of the tabs, you can add new items, taxes, etc. to your catalog by creating new rows. If you're looking to modify an existing item or tax row, you can change any values other than the ID column. The corresponding item or tax will be modified when you upload this file. Lastly, the names of a tax, modifier group, or item modifier rows cannot include a semicolon. Now let's get started with building your item catalog. First, select the items tab. When creating items, you must enter the name, price, tax, and status of an item. Let's begin by creating an item for wine in the items tab. We'll set the wine to have a base price of $10. Note that with Swipe Simple Register, you have the ability to enter in item level taxes in three different ways. You can enter in a single tax rate, or you can assign multiple tax rates to an item by inserting a semicolon to differentiate the tax rates. Lastly, if you want the employee to select the tax rate at the time of sale, enter in prompt. Next step, you can also assign this item to a category and assign it to the modifier group for wine types. Please note that the field for the modifier group on this tab must match the name field that you'll create later on in the modifier groups tab and the group field in the item modifiers tab. For the next item, we'll add a t-shirt with two modifier groups. We'll set the base price at $15, and in the tax rate column, we'll enter in prompt, so the merchant is prompted for the type of tax at the time of sale. We also want to ensure that we track inventory, so we'll enter true for track inventory, 200 for the on-hand count, for the category, we'll enter close, and lastly, we also have the ability to add in multiple modifier groups to an item, so we'll enter in clothing size, and t-shirt color separated by a semicolon. Now that we've created these two items, let's move on to the taxes tab. The required fields for the tax rate tabs are the name and the value field. For now, we'll create three tax rates for New York City, New Jersey, and an alcohol tax rate. As a reminder, ensure that the names you are entering here match the spelling and capitalization of how you entered this in the items tab. Next up, select the tab for modifier groups. In the Modifier Groups tab, you must provide a name, min, max, and a prompt. The three modifier groups are wine types, clothing size, and t-shirt color. For the wine types, we'll set the minimum at 1 and the maximum at 1. For the prompt, we'll set this as true so the employee is prompted to select a type of wine at the time of sale. Now let's add the modifier group for clothing size. Since we want the employee to select a clothing size at the time of the order, we're going to enter a minimum of one and a maximum of one and set the prompt to true. The last modifier group that we're going to create is for t-shirt color. Similar to the previous modifier groups, we want the employee to select one color for the t-shirt at the time of the order. So we're going to enter in a minimum of and a maximum of one and set the prompt to true. Lastly, click on the tab for item modifiers. This tab will outline the different types of choices that merchants can select from for the wine types, clothing size, and t-shirt colors. In this tab, you must provide a name, a price alteration, and a group. We'll add three options for the modifier group, wine types. In the name column, we'll add Chardonnay, Merlot, and Rosé. In the price alterations column, we will have varying add-on prices for each of these options. Now we'll enter in wine types for this group column since this needs to match the value that was created in the modifier group field on the second tab and the names field that was listed in the fourth tab. Next, we'll create the item modifiers for clothing sizes. In the name column, we'll enter in three options, small, medium, and large, and we'll vary the price for the different sizes. In the group column, we'll have these three options match the clothing size. 
Now let's create the item modifiers for t-shirt colors. We'll add three different colors in the name column, black, white, and red, and we will not add on an additional price alteration. In the group column, let's label these three options as t-shirt colors. After you have completed filling out the Excel template, click Save. After you finish filling out this file, go back to the Swipe Symbol dashboard, click on Item Catalog, click on Import Items, click on Choose File, select the respective file, then click on Upload. That's it. Thanks for watching the overview of how to build items, taxes, modifier groups, and item modifiers for your item catalog using the Catalog Import and Export feature on Swipe Symbol.